What's up everybody? Check out the sneak peek of this comparison video of two Ionic 5s, one being a SEL package and the other being a SE. Now the one you're looking at right now, SEL package, all wheel drive with that HTEX leather compared to the SE that you're looking at now with the cloth seats. And we're gonna be doing a review here at Vagabond Builds. Let's go ahead and show you guys that. As mentioned here at Vagabond Builds, we're going to be doing a comparison video of the 2023 Ionic 5 SEL all-wheel drive compared to the 2023 Ionic 5 SE rear-wheel drive package. We're going to be mentioning some exterior, interior, and specs about both of these cars. But before we do, it is not a sponsored video. So if you guys do like our content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel because we really, really appreciate your guys' support. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Hyundai for providing us both of these cars for this review in Roseville, California. That's where we're at right now. Also stay tuned, everybody. We're gonna be dropping the MSRP stickers and the price tags for both of these cars. So you guys get an idea of what exactly comes with these cars and the price tag on them. If you got some for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we can talk details later. Now let's talk Ionic 5. So starting off with some specs about both these cars. Now we're looking at the SE with the real wheel drive and that's going to change your MPG. It's going to also change your horsepower and torque. So we just popped the front of this hood so you guys uh, get an idea of how it looks under the hood. But on this SE, you get 225 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque, comes a 77.4 kilowatt battery. You also have the option of getting a 58 kilowatt battery, okay? This is real-wheel drive, which gets you MPG of 132 city, 98 highway and a 114 combined so if we go over to the sel all-wheel drive now same idea if we pop that front hood but it also come but this one comes with 320 horsepower being an all-wheel drive 446 foot pounds of torque because of the dual motor 77.4 kilowatt battery has a long range lithium ion battery and mpg comes 113 city 90 highway and a 101 combined. Let's go ahead and shut this hood and show you guys some slight minor differences between the SE and the SEL. Now I'm gonna be also talking a little bit about the Limited. We don't have that in this video here, but pretty much the look of the car is exactly the same, everybody. Nothing different on the grills, trims, fascias, bumpers, lighting, nothing is different, but pretty much the main difference you're gonna see on the SEL, you get the bumper sensors integrated into the front bumper cover and no bumper sensors on the SE. So the tech is a little bit less on the SE. Now, if you had the limited package, you would get the 360 view camera with the camera integrated into the front and the bumper sensors integrated, all right? Coming over to the side, same exact rims, same trims, like I mentioned. Of course, same exact side mirrors. You get the blind spot assist on both mirrors. Now, if you had, as mentioned, the Limited, the Limited would have a camera under these mirrors, all right, giving you that 360 look. Again, the same cuts, same trims, everything is the same. Limited would have the sunroof, all right, the glass roof that you'd get in the uh, in the limited package to where this is just a slick top, you got just the metal. Coming over to the rear, again, as a surprise, nothing is different. You get both, both the SEL, you have the bumper sensors and the camera, and the SE bumper sensors and camera, all right? Let's go ahead and pop, the, pop this hood up. Oh, this is a lift. Of course, SEL gets the automatic lift gate. That's something different. SEL, automatic lift gate. SE, no automatic lift gate, all right? And this is pretty much the pocket room. It's po pocket space, 60, 40 rear seats. We can drop those seats um, as you wanna drop them. You would have to drop them from the inside of the car. All right, and look at all this room you have. Now, I mean, what would you compare this to like a Toyota Prius? 
uh, you get a lot of room and you can fit a lot of things in here. Things that are long, maybe you're going out to the mountain and you want some skis, snowboards, bikes, strollers, car seats, whatever you can fit, dishwashers, dryers, whatever, it'll fit back here. So from the perspective of kind of being like that uh, hatchback sedan look or kind of crossover feel, you do have a lot of room and entry room, so you're not gonna be fighting getting things inside the back of this car. Press that button, and of course, we have to pull this one down. All right, now we pretty much showed you guys the exterior. Let's go ahead and talk some interior. So now sitting on the interior side of the SEL. Now right off the bat, the main differences that we're gonna be seeing are the door panel look. All right, these are the door panels. It comes with the ambient lighting speakers and different look. This is gonna be a little bit more richer, higher class feel on the SEL. You get the wireless charging pad. All right, SEL comes with wireless uh, phone charging pad and the SE doesn't. And of course, the seats. The seats kind of have that leather uh, H-Tech feel with the pixels incorporated and the look with the stitchings, design and all that good stuff. All right, to where the SE comes, that kind of cloth canvas look. And we're gonna be showing you guys that later on in the video. But overall, other than that, everything's pretty much the same, okay? Your control units for windshield wipers, all this, uh, headlight, the parking shift uh, knob, the screens are both 12.3 inches, controls, all that good stuff. Very uh, sensitive and responsive, touch-sensitive screen. Cluster, you can change the look of the cluster through your drive modes. Go to Sport, Eco, and Normal. All right, and your manual steering column, this is manual, all right? Goes back and forward, sorry, forward and back. Um, something to mention on the limited package, you will have like a heads-up display, and up top you will have the glass, but you will see things of that sort, but not on the SEL or the SC, all right? Now, same around here too, dual climate controls. You can control that screen by the manual buttons here, all right? And cup holders, USB-A plug-ins with more room. USB-A plug-in with 12 volt out outlet up there. And some more room in your armrest, okay? Now, like I said, straight to the point right off the bat, we're done talking about the front seats. Let's go ahead and head over to the second row seating. So second row seating on the SEL, you still have that same look coming in over from the front to the back. The seats do come car seat compatible with armrest, and cup holder. Now you can move these seats up and down, make that angle more acute or more obtuse. And these bench seats do move forward and back. Let's do a space test. I'm about six feet, two inches. Now head clearance is there. If you go ahead and pick up this seat and if you drop it, you get the head clearance and more than enough leg room. Door panels still look the same coming out coming in from the front over to the back you get more of that canvas with that kind of leather feel and the ambient lighting speaker covers to where on the SC they're gonna be kind of more plasticky on the door panels all right pocket room on both seats and the USB-A plug-ins now let's go ahead and show you guys a quick view of the SE model now sitting on the interior side of the SE trim now right off the bat to the eye the main differences are the cloth canvas seats, very durable uh, canvas, all right? These are gonna be a different look compared to the SEL. The wireless charging pad, you don't have a wireless charging pad on the SE. And then the door panels. The door panels themselves look a little bit more plasticky look with uh, no canvas integrated in it and the design is different. Uh, speaker covers don't come ambient lighting, so door panels are different, okay? But overall, um, is pretty much the same everything else same screen same dual climate control same steering wheel all right you get the same buttons on the left hand side of your steering column manual steering column plug-ins usb a's still the same so you still have pretty much everything the same other than those things i mentioned all right now if you drop if you pop up tim limited uh trim you're going to be seeing some differences okay now the back bench uh, I'm not going to drop back there, but same idea. They do, you know, drop the angles. They move back and front, back and uh, forward and back. And you get your pocket space, 
on the back of these seats and your USB-A plugins on the back of the center console. Now, as promised, we're gonna be dropping those MSRP stickers. So here's the MSRP sticker and price tag to the SEL model. So you guys get an idea of what exactly it comes with in the price tag. And then here's the price tag and the MSRP sticker to the SE trim model. So you guys get an idea of that also. Now we appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We appreciate you guys. Keep watching. We got more cool things coming. Have a good one and God bless you.